There we go. Got your printouts. Fab. Yeah. The big one we're going to be looking at throughout the session. We're going to keep coming back to it as well. That one. Oh uh, yeah, it's printed quite small actually. Well, I, I deliberately printed it a bit uh, smaller because I thought it would just use up all my ink. <laughs> I, I didn't realise that you wanted me to do it big. No, no, it's okay. Mine's on subscription, my ink, so I'll just like, yeah, I use the lot. Okay, like, uh, about, I think it's about a fiver a month. And mind you, I have to say, yeah, I have one of those um, subscriptions, so I could have printed it all. I just thought, oh, you know, I don't know why. I'm just a bit tight, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. You should be able to see what we need anyway. Okay, okay. So, Chris. Today we're going to look at a painting by Leonardo da Vinci and it has a very interesting history. So we are going to look at a nice short word to, word to warm you up, get my words up. What? Oh my god, get those shakes finished. Get those shakes finished and then you'll be able to point. There. Come on, get them out. <laughs> right, we're looking at a P A I and N and one. T and oh that was N. I N and G, we're looking at a painting by who? Leonardo. D A V I N T and I, Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, very nice. This painting is called Lady with an Ermine. Lady with an airmen. Yeah. E R M I N E. I know part of a weasel family in Ermin, and this was painted between 1489 and 1490. So it took him a year. I say only a year, but <laughs> it's a long time, really. <laughs> So, oh, yes. uh, one whole year to paint. Yes, let's have a look at the painting so we can see what we uh, see what we're dealing with. Who says Chris? There's the painting that he did. Right then. So mm. just have a good look and then we're going to talk about it. Okay, have a look, have a look with your finger as well. Let's just scan it so you look at the detail. There's the lady's face. Oh, look, she's wearing a necklace. There we are. And look, look what she's holding. A weasel. Look at her lovely, lovely dress. It's like, yeah. Going to be looking at all these details as we go through. There's lots of history behind this painting. So, Leonardo works for a duke in Italy and this duke was in love with the lady in the painting and her name was Cecilia, C-E-C-I-L-I-A, Gallerani, G-A-L-L-E-R-A-N-I. So just for practice, her first name was first name. I know yeah. you just heard that. Go on. First name was C E. Go on. C I L I I. Hey, Cecilia, yes. Now, unfortunately, they couldn't get married. The Duke had been promised to someone who had more title 
and nobility than Cecilia. So why was this so important in this era, in the late 1400s? Yeah. Why was this so important? You've been promised someone who had a title. I T W A It was I Oh, that's how you saw. See, you did. You need me. It was I. Mm. M. Come on, keep it going. P. O. R. T. A. N. T. It was important. It was important T two K E E K T H E V R O Y good, this is good. R O Y, keep it going. A R-O-Y-A. A-M wouldn't make sense. A-L would make sense to keep the royal. B. What? L. O. O. D. L. I. N. E. Okay, yeah. It was important to keep the royal bloodline. Yeah, they were very strict on that, weren't they? Children were often promised to be married before they were five to other royalty. Mm -hmm. Gosh. So we're going to look at the ermine first, and then we'll look at Cecilia later. Now on these paintings, it said that the ermine has been painted larger than it would typically be in um, nature. And typically it would be between 13 and 29 centimetres. So we're just going to estimate with our hands roughly about 29 centimetres. And then we can compare it on the photo to see if you think it looks a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. The painting, I should say. Okay, so 29 centimetres. How long is a, a run? I hope it's a bit. How, how, how many centimetres is a letter board? I'm going to put a ruler in here. I need a ruler. I need a ruler. I think we've got one somewhere, actually. You've got one. You got a board. Uh -huh. It's actually just over 30. Okay, so there we are. So yeah. in nature, this is the biggest. Who can hold it each side? So the biggest that uh, an ermine would be, oh, would be that wide. So you hold your two hands up, that wide. Yeah. That so that's the biggest. But they yeah. range from 13 to 29, so really from about that much. And that is a really big one. That would be a normal one. Mm. one. So looking at the painting. Look at the painting now. Here we are. Come on, quick. Down we go. From what you've just found out, do you think that it's been painted larger than it should have been? Right, so have a look. If you agree. There it is. 
Okay, there's your finger. That's it. There's its head. Go right the way down. Look at its body all the way down there. Oh my god, that's it. <laughs> I'm just comparing. <laughs> I was going to say, think of it as mum holding it. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you think, do you agree? Do you think it has been painted larger? Uh -huh. Y, E, yes. Yes, it, it does look it, doesn't it? In comparison to our hand, it does look rather large. Mm -hmm. And we'll come to the reason why that may be. I like to tease you. <laughs> Now, during the winter month, the ermine's fur turns white. And this is to blend in with the snow because it lives in North America. And this is something called, I hope I pronounced this correctly, chromatophore. So it's C H R O M A T O P H O R E. Matter four. I did a Google search to see how you pronounce it. And this is when an animal changes colours to match their surroundings. So we have a little picture of an ermine. Summer months. Oh look, here we Look at that. So, that one's a picture in the summer, and that one's a picture in the winter. It looks like two different animals, doesn't it? It does. But it's just the fur that's changed. Shall we label this? We could do a W and an S, couldn't we, above each picture? Yeah. So we had any ideas. Yeah, let's just write it. Is it back there and down? There. So on the, on the top of this one, we're going to do S for summer. Nice S, go on. S, that's it. And on this one, we're going to do W. So we're going to go down, up, down, up. There we are. Like. Down, up, down, up. Very nice. Summer and winter. Perfect. Do you have your keyboard there? Yeah. yeah. I thought we could um, type fur. Talking about the fur. Oh yes, because we've been talking about the different coloured fur, white and brown. Let me just pull this table closer because we want to practice flat on the table when we're doing it. Yeah. Move it into a good position. Right, we're just, just going to do fur. F for fur. Touch the F. Don't know. No. Oh, you see you've got impulsive and you've got the V. Let's clear that one off. Right, we're just going to do the F. Straight to the F. Straight to it, and then the U. Straight to the U. Don't be pressing letters on the way. No, no, no. <sighs> you pressed a letter on the way. Touch that back space. People will get very confused if you touch letters on the way. Let's just go back a minute. I'm going to start again because we got all mixed up there. So do the F. F. Are you were there. F. Push. Push. U. U. Push. Oh, push. Yeah, well done. That was better. <laughs> oh. And then, just for a bit of fun, can you think of another animal that can change its colour? I didn't no. realise there were so many when I had a look. Did you know uh, another animal that can change its colour? Let's have a look. Do you know any? A, R, C, T, I, come on, Arctic, all right, go on, I think we've done Arctic, what? Oh, X Arctic fox. All right, yeah, it's on my list. I think I think we have done a little session a long, long time ago because I can remember 
when we were doing um, biology, we did a, a, a topic which was called adaptations in animals, oh, and yeah. I think that was one of the ones that we looked at. Oh, yeah. ah, okay. Well, that's good remembering then. I know, I know. Very good. The first one that came to my head was chameleon. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, and I thought, I know there's some in the Arctic, let me Google it. So I've got Arctic fox, Arctic hare, and there's some sea life as well that can change oh, colours. So the white fur is said to represent purity and moderation. Mm -hmm. And it was believed the ermine would rather face death than soil its white coat. Oh, do you mention that? Rather face death? Yes. Than get dirty? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> now, we have two quotes by Leonardo. We're going to look at one and two together because they are quite similar. And then we'll have a little chat about them. Okay, just finish that little bit off and then we'll move that plate out of the way. Okay. I think Leonardo was quite captured with ermines. Yeah. Ermine. No. Ermine? Yeah, ermine. I don't know how you pronounce it actually. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we'll have a look at these two quotes. Shall we? We're just going to read them first? Yes, please, yeah. Come on then. So you point and I'll read it. The ermine, out of moderation, never eats but once a day. And keep it going. And it would rather let itself be captured by hunters than take. Ooh, keep it going. Refuge in a dirty lair. In order not to stain its purity. Ooh, that was quote number one. Quote number two. Let's do that one. You find it. Yeah, number two, there, good. Moderation. Yeah. Moderation curbs all the vices. The air mine prefers to die Ooh. rather than soil itself. That's what we just said with you, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know about you, but when I read these, I almost felt like he was putting the ermine in quite a, a high class status, almost like mm -hmm. a king order of animals. It was like right up there is pure and beautiful. What do you think? Do you agree with me or do you have your own thoughts? And what Leonardo is saying about these ermines? Y E yes H E T A L K S he talks A B O oh. after the O well, U T talks about T H E M A come on A as B E I N G as being P U P U R E Yes He talks about them as Pure. 
A B I T bit L I K E bit like F O N D D H I N and after the N after the N G A B like something W H I T H a bit like something O go on on something on a bit like something on <laughs> Did I write that down correctly? I it, it, uh, lagged a little bit, so I had a W H I and then it lagged. Okay. So I, I couldn't hear the, the rest of that little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. Okay, well you carry on and correct me, Chris. I don't know if I missed something. Yes, he talks about them as being pure, a bit like something on a P E. e D E S T A and L. That's good. A bit like something on a pedestal. W H I C H which M. Come on, keep it going. Which M? U. S and. After the S, S and T, which must. Bit like something on a pedestal. Which must. Do you want to try with a pencil? N O T, which must not B. Go on. E B T O U. No flapping around. Go to the letter you want. T. H E and I'm just getting tired of being touched, which must not be touched. Yeah. yeah, almost like it's uh sitting on a throne just to be admired, not touched. Yeah. yeah. Now Celia was known to be pregnant with an illegitimate child around the time the portrait was painted. And it has been rumored that the Duke's nickname was Ermelino Bianco. <laughs> yeah, E-R-M-E-L-L-I-N-O and Bianco, B-I-N-B-I-A-N-C-O which translated from English, Italian to English means white ermine. So she's having this portrait done, she's rumored to be pregnant and she's holding a white ermine, which may have been the Duke's nickname. Do you think that was done purposely by Leonardo or Cecilia or the Duke? They purposely put this white ermine in her arms to have this painting. Because they couldn't be together. He was already um, married to someone else. 
Y, E, yes, D, E, F, I, N, boom, A, T, E, L, Y, yes, definitely. <laughs> Feel positive on that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the ermine was painted um a little bit after Daily had been finished as well. So now we're going to look at Cecilia. When the portrait was painted, she was around 16, 16 years old, so very young, and renowned for her beauty. Now we have sketch drawing of Cecilia. It's uh I think it looks rather different from the painting. Yeah, have a compare. See? Yeah, compare. Do they look the same person too? Um, let me know which one you prefer, painting or the sketch. Right, so which, have a look. There's the painting, there's the sketch. Maybe you could tell us which one you prefer. Careful, careful. Careful, Chris. Take care of yourself. So which one do you prefer? Painting or the sketch, and maybe you could tell us why. I L I what? L I come on K E I like T H E D S L I Come on, come on. K E T C and H. I like the sketch. A as come on. I T is it? I it is. M, go on. O, R, E, it is more. Is that M or N? I don't know, I'm not sure. As it is more. N, A, T, yeah. I guess it's U. R A L Do more L O Okay O K I N and G I like the sketch I like the sketch as it is more natural looking. Now, I think you might be onto something there because we're going to talk about that. <laughs> Back in 17th century, so a few hundred years after it was painted, an unknown <laughs> restorer edited the original painting. Uh -huh. Mm. And it didn't go down well. They were heavily criticised. Why do you think someone might have done that? Restored the painting? Okay, careful. W A was 
I, T, was it D, A, M, A, G? Mm. Come on, after the G. This, is, this makes sense. D, A, M, A, G. Touch the G again. G, E, E. Was it damaged? It wasn't, no. Oh. Not on any reports that I could find, it wasn't damaged at all. Ooh. I think it was more like, I'm not keen on that part. I'm just going to skip over it. Oh, so more that it just didn't look good? Or yeah, someone, it's... in someone's opinion, it didn't look good as a painting? Yeah, oh, well, and we're going to look at the restorations on it now. So. Oh. That's where I should have printed the bigger one out. <laughs> <laughs> Next time when you send these things through, if you want it big, you'll have to put a note, leave that one big. Please, please. <laughs> so we'll have to look very carefully. Back I mean, I can try and share the screen and get it up on my laptop if you want. No, it's all right. We'll have a go. We'll okay. I mean, they're quite easy to notice when I point them out, I think, anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah. So... On the left hand side of her dress, that part has been restored. It looks very um, dark. It does, you see. Compared to the right hand side, where you can see lots of detail see, on the bottom of the dress. Dark, yeah, whereas here, see, touch, you can see like embroidery or something there, can't you? But you can't see anything on that side, it just sort of blurs out, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's been restored. And on her head. Oh, I know, that looks a bit weird. The hair. Yeah. I saw that. Let me see if I can point here. There was she did have a veil on that came oh, all the way down. That has painted over and was painted the same colour as her hair. Because uh, uh, I thought that that sort of line across above her eyebrows looked a bit weird. Yeah, that we, that I think it was the, the veil. The veil, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. the veil so, there and then across there. Yeah, so they should have got rid of that, really. Should, oh, now I see, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, then, yeah, yeah, you can see now. Now you look at it, the hair looks totally false, doesn't it? It does, and then this was part of the veil that they actually missed right. out. Oh, yes. Just there. Yeah. Oh yes, it's very weird when you look at it close up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. you can yeah. see all these little things. Yeah. Now while you've got the photo, another one is her fingers. So these bottom two fingers, they restored them. If you look at the top two, you can see her knuckles, almost the muscles, her nail bed. Yeah, yeah. see the detail, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The are very very different there's not much detail in them at all no, no. Mm. and then one of the last things we found was stood, well originally after they did an x-ray on the painting there was a door a blue door in the background oh yeah but and someone had just painted it all over very dark Okay. Chris, do you but, think you preferred something in the background or do you prefer the black plain background? Okay, would you prefer a door in the background or a plain background? What do you think? Oh, P L A I. And oh, you like the plain background? Plain G I B. Come on, you're doing well. I can see your arms getting a bit tight, but you're doing well. G I V. So the plain G I V. Come on. E give. E M E H A S 
five. F is emphasis. T O two. D H E to the L A D and must be Y. Go on, straight to it. Y. Okay, so you think that the the plain background because it gives emphasis to the lady. I agree with you, Chris. I prefer the plain background. Mm. Just think it makes her stand out for Yeah, yeah. Now, while on a talk of Italy, a prince from Poland came across this painting. And his mother, being a, an art collector, he thought she might like it and he brought it for her. When she was given this gift, she replied, quote three. <laughs> oh, yes. So he's given this lovely gift. And what does this lady say? Let's read it. Number three. If it's a dog, it's a very ugly one. <laughs> so she isn't even bothered about looking at the beauty of the lady. <laughs> She's just drawn to looking at the uh, area and say it looks like an ugly dog. I don't know. I was like, what? That's a bit me. <laughs> she was quite well known for being abrupt. <laughs> I don't know. Chris, do you think it looks like a dog? An ugly dog? I Personally, I think they're rather cute, actually. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. um, okay. T H E on the T A I N T I on. N on the painting I T E Go on O Keep it going, E, and you're doing very well. Nice pointing. S, it does. L, O, go on, O, and K, it does look. U, G, L, Y, oh, you, you agree on the painting. It does look lovely. On the painting. I think you can't see any detail of its fur, can you, on the painting? Whereas yeah. on, the, on these um, pictures, they, it looks really cute, yeah. It is really cute there, yeah. I'm, I'm going by this one. <laughs> these are quite cute. Ugly, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the claws almost look a little bit like um, horror film like. <laughs> Well, it looks sort of like a bald thing, doesn't it? It looks just like skin. I don't like those dogs which have the very thin hair, I must admit. Oh, so uh, okay. Hard. Or the yeah. cats, the one. Oh, you know, uh, yeah, the sphinx cats. I quite find these, um, I think it's the muscles of it. I find them yeah. a bit disturbing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That does look a bit odd. Yeah. Now, on the painting, in the top left-hand corner, have a little look. There's a signature. Very faint. Just there. Oh, that sort of. Oh, right. Oh, we, yes. can do it. we can't make that on that. Oh, oh nice. okay. Can you see it there? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now it says Leonard Diawincy. And this is the Polish translation for Leonardo da Vinci. So it's not an orig original signature. So after it was taken to Poland and <laughs> berated, <laughs> someone signed it. What do you think they might have done that, Chris? Especially in Polish. 
when Leonardo da Vinci wasn't Polish? And a few hundred years later as well? J U S T just T O two S H O W just to show W H O who the Go on, you were there. Push A I N T E D who painted I T just to show who painted it. Uh, I was thinking more um probably be worth more money if it was signed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're probably right, Jenny, there. Just to show who painted it or to the, what the, Jenny thinks is that they're more likely to try and increase its value. Mm. Now, the last bit now. Throughout the years, this painting has been passed around literally the whole world. It's been stashed here and there, uh, passed on to many people. But it now lives at a museum in Poland and it's insured for 300 million euros mind-blowing so just to summarize Chris your thoughts on the painting is it a painting you enjoy looking at um, have you seen it before kind of thing did you enjoy finding out about the history Very open question. Your thoughts. I T I S it is N and oh, so I or I touched an I but I wasn't sure whether that was just a little a little glance. So it is. Go, go from the is. N O T. It is not M um, Y F A. Come on. Keep that elbow lifted so you can be accurate. That elbow there. F A. V O U R I T and well, it is not my favourite. It is not my favourite. Seems to be having some sensitivity with your ears lately, even when there's no sounds going on. Um, oh, okay. Sometimes popping those on help. You can still hear, can't you? It's not my favourite. T Y P Type O of T A T A O T A I okay N T God, which word? It's not my favourite type of so you've done P A I N T must be ing. Finish it off. I N 
gee, it's not my favourite type of painting. Let me just give you a break. Not my favourite type of painting. Just a bit more space here. Hold the board a bit lower because your arm's getting tired. Not my favourite type of painting. B. B, U, go ahead, B, U, but <laughs> we'll just try on this board to see if it's on. But I. E. Oh, try and go straight the letter. And is going a bit like that. I don't know if you can oh, see. Yeah. Hey, Anna, it's just... So again, you can see. But I, and then you did an E. Let's have a look. Go on, let's see if we can just finish this off. I can see that your arm's getting a bit tired, but you've been doing so well. So That's just try E. N. J, that's good. O, after the O. Y, and E, and D, but I enjoyed. I enjoyed. F, and I, and N and D and try and make it the definite. Use that finger. I and N and G. I enjoyed finding O U T. I enjoyed finding out. A and B and O and come on, after the O. U and T. I enjoy finding out about I. Oh, it's your nose. Out about I try the first. Go on. E S about its H I S after the S. That's just a little impulse that you don't need to do anymore. T O R and at the R P wouldn't make sense. Touch the R again. R and Y. Ah, oh, very good. It's not my favourite type of painting, but I enjoyed finding out about it. History, all right. Just for curiosity, what sort of painting do you prefer? Satisfy Jenny's curiosity. I L I K E. I like M. Go on. O. R E more C O L O U I like more colour. I like more colour. Anything else to add? 
Or are you finished? No, oh, we're finished. Okay. Anyone? Can you tell me more or finished or just carry on? I like more colour. Oh, okay. Um, and I like more colour and T E. You're the one that tells me you want to do more. I hold it down here, it's not easy. It's in the way. Yeah. Is that X? Yeah? That would make sense. T U. R oh, and E, I like more colour and texture. Thank you. History of it's very interesting though, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's good to find out what, where it's come from and why. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a very interesting story. Okay, Symbolic, I mean. Let me just 